Hello all and welcome back. So today's video I wanted to discuss things with mask wearing coronavirus. So some things to understand about the coronavirus. As everyone is saying it's similar to a flu and the cold. Yes but worse. So it is a virus just like the flu and the cold. People die, do die from the flu or the cold. I will totally acknowledge that. However, the death rate from the flu or the cold is less than the death rate from coronavirus right now. Now, if you go back to 1919 flu, we're talking a different story. And that's actually the reason, a big reason that the death rate is higher with coronavirus right now than it is for the flu and the cold. And what that is, is no one's body has ever been exposed to coronavirus before. They just haven't. They have had other coronaviruses, but not the COVID-19. So, no one has antibodies to it. That means everyone is going to get sick. And those whose bodies are not equipped to deal with it and don't have the support they need will die. Period. That's across the board the way it is. With the flu and colds, they mutate a little bit every year, generally. And so people who had still have antibodies from a previous year are going to have antibodies still this year. And so they're going to be able to fight it off often without any symptoms. So that means fewer people are getting sick at a time and there's less pressure on the healthcare system. Now, what happened in 1919 is the flu virus actually did a huge mutation to where it actually mutated so much that previous antibodies were not effective against it. And it became a worldwide pandemic. And tons of people died from it. And the way they actually ended up stopping the pandemic, everyone had to go into quarantine, everyone had to start wearing masks, etc. What we're doing right now, just to make it clear, is not much different than what happened back then, except for one, there were fewer people on the earth. Two, more people were willing to follow the mandate. And so they were more, because they saw their friends and family dying and different things like that, and heard, just heard about it. And so in areas where maybe it hadn't hit yet, they were willing to take precautions early so it didn't become as severe for them. Three, there was less travel back then, period. You didn't jump on a plane and fly around the world on a regular basis. You just didn't do that. So fewer people were actually exposed to it, and so it spread slower. One of the big spreads actually of that was soldiers coming home, but it still would take them a while to get from the war ground from the war grounds and wherever they were fighting and whatever to home they had many different stops along the way it took quite a while i know my grandpa i think they said it took him something like nine months from when he was released from being a medic to when he was actually allowed to go home and then they had to drive from the east coast to utah so took him and his brothers quite a while to get home after the war. So 
that's the first part of understanding what's going on. I will go into more in the next video. Thank you. Bye.